All right, I'm gonna show you real quick here how easy it is to change the original Floyd Rose bar with a push-in bar, which is a much, much better design. It's quite cheap. Very, very nice upgrade for any Floyd Rose. And you can do this without even changing your strings, although I just broke a string, so I'm gonna have to replace them anyway. But I'm gonna show you how you, how you can do this without even changing the strings. All right, I already loosened up the locking nut, I already loosened all the strings. So what you gotta do is just flip it over. Pull the springs out. All right, so that just released the bridge. So now you just pull that out and right there is what you need. Now that Allen wrench right there, that's the wrong one. That's actually the same Allen wrench that uh, from, from, uh, from your locking nut. So you already have this. So this is how you get the original one out. The whole thing just comes out. piece has to come out completely okay I just had to tap that one out a little bit with the wrench okay. this next part you are going to need a 12 millimeter wrench I highly recommend you use a real wrench and not a pair of pliers or anything like that you want this to be really tight So here's the uh, the collar, okay? One thing to be careful of, I made this mistake the first time I ever did this, but you wanna make sure the adjustment screw is pointed out this way so you can actually get to it. So you put that through there, make sure it's pointed out like that. So you can get to that pretty easy. And you take the, uh, the nut there, Take a 12 millimeter wrench. And you want this tight, not just snug like you do on everything else on a guitar. You want this to actually be pretty tight. Because if you don't put this down there tight, I guarantee you, you will be taking it apart again. All right, so that's not, that's not going anywhere. Tighten up the strings a little bit to hold that in place. Flip it back over. Put the springs back on. I usually do this on my lap. This is kind of hard doing this for the camera. It doesn't help that I don't have my glasses on either. That's really all there is to it. Just gotta tune it up, good to go. There's really nothing to it at all. Now the way that's on there, there's the adjustment screw. You can easily get there to adjust how much tension is on it. Super easy.